Hello, this is Liliana Mejia and welcome to this short tutorial about how to prepare your space and your altar for your moon rituals. The first thing you want to do is clear the space that you will be doing your ritual at and uh, clean up a little bit, tidy up. Then you're going to proceed with smudging or cleansing in some way, cleansing and harmonizing the space. So for this, you can use, uh, for smudging, you can use plants like um, sage. So you can find white sage or this is wild sage. So white sage, you can use, you can just uh, uh, light up the entire um, bunch, right? And with wild sage, what we do is we take a little um, bit of the leaves and then we make a ball and the ball is what we light up. We, you always want to have something uh, to put the stuff uh, that you're burning, um, such as a copalera or anything that you use. So I'm um, very practical. I just use a little uh, Turkish coffee maker and it's, um, it's quite good for me. Um, so once you uh, light up your sage, you can put it in there, or if you're working with the whole uh, smudging stick, you can just use it around the house like that. Um, also, another option that is just um, as powerful is Palo Santo. So you can uh, find these, uh, maybe some of you already have it in Botanicas, right? And uh, Palo Santo, you can light also the whole stick and just um, smudge with the stick. Um, there's also the option of using copal. Copal is a little bit stronger yeah, at cleansing uh, the energies around your place. And it looks a little bit like this, right? And uh, for using copal or any other incense like this, like dry um, herbs and other um, pieces of incense like that. You want to use uh, your copalera and uh, a coal. The coals come like this. These are like hookah coals and you can light up these. Usually at the beginning they, they smell kind of weird so you wait until they're all uh, red, right? Um, you wait till they burn inside of your copalera and once they are red, you can put it like by a window while this happens and once they're red, you can put in uh, your copal or your any other incense that you want to use and then go around your space like this. You can use uh, any smudging tool like a feather, for example, or a fan and so in this way you can um, smudge the space that you will be using. There are other ways um, if uh, this is something that you don't have around in your house you can also use many of us use um, oils right to um, for everyday use and you can just put a few drops of your favorite oil like lavender or rose or something or orange and you can just put a few drops um, in a spray bottle like this and then spray around the space. Uh, what we recommend is to spray or to smudge from the left side into the right because this is the way that the energy moves in our body this is why with the left um, we receive and with the right we give so um, this is a whole new subject for another workshop but for now we want to make this short um, if you don't have any essential oils around you can also just take some flowers um, uh, just cook them you know boil them for a little while and make your own flower water or purchase Florida water at any pharmacy. Most pharmacies do carry a Florida water and you can purchase this easily and use it around the house. 
Also, um, uh, rose water is really good for harmonizing space and, and it's sold uh, uh, for moisturizing the skin. So also it's very easy to find. Another way to harmonize the space and cleanse the energies uh, can be using um, instruments, right? So for these, um, uh, preferred instruments are rattles or maracas. Uh, and you can just go around the space in the same way, you know, starting on the left side, meaning that if you have a door to the space, you will begin from the left side of that door and end on the right side of that door. And so you will uh, go around making sure that you are working in all the corners where the energy sometimes gets stuck. And uh, you can also use a hand drum or if you really don't have any of these at all um you know just you can use your voice you can use clapping also but it's very important that you take some time to perform this ritual to cleanse the environment to cleanse the energies that um, are around your house so that you start you begin your um, ceremony your ritual uh, with a high vibration now, same thing you're going to do with yourself. So you want to either smudge yourself, you know, you want that smoke to uh, hit all the spots, you know, all around you. Like really in this process, the most important is uh, where your focus is and your intention, right? So just make sure that that smoke uh, is going all around your body. Um, your aura and that you have a good intention you know for cleansing yourself for releasing any uh, sort of bad energy and anything that doesn't serve you at the moment now we're going to work on your altar and you may use any altar that you already have at home, altars that you use to meditate in front of, to pray. All of these are good. And if you want to create your own altar for specific um, ceremonies or rituals, you can do so. The first thing you need is an altar cloth, right? That is like this, a wooden uh, piece of fabric or just any fabric that may be special for you that... Um, you know, it's important that in some way it's special that you have uh, done something to it. Maybe if you embroider or paint over it, just like make it something special because this is the frame for your altar. This is my altar cloth. I just put it on my coffee table and we're going to start placing the elements that I consider important uh, to be in my altar for the ritual. And these are um, definitely I want to have all the elements on my altar so there's a place for water and fire you're always going to need a candle for your altars uh, it's uh, preferable that is um, a new candle so you can use candles like these or maybe just you know a tea light uh, if all of that is good there should be a place for wind so I usually like to use feathers Anything that represents the element for you, you know, it's good if you have like maybe uh, like a little bird also or anything that you consider that can work for that purpose. And then uh, maybe some crystals for uh, earth or you can use some herbs. I usually like to have my moon rattle right here. And my moon rattle is something very important in my moon rituals. There are many things that may be important for you and those should be on your altar. Now, depending on the things that we are working with, you may want to have symbols. So, for example, when we work with the new moon, we are setting intentions. And if you have things that may symbolize the intentions that you have, either if it's pictures of your family, pictures of things that are important for you, or just um, little tokens that represent those things that you want to work on. And the same is when we work with the, the full moon, 
Uh, the, in the full moon, we do a ritual for releasing, releasing the things that we no longer need. So if you want something that represents that and you want to have it on your altar, also a beautiful thing is if you're able to uh, maybe have some flowers around, some fresh flowers or any plants, you know, it's good to have um, around your altar. And at the end, you can use them also to make your own flower water, uh, which uh, comes from the altar and it's even more powerful. So thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys. I'm hoping to see you very soon in our ritual and have a blessed day. Love and blessings.